What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steven. Today, we're going to react to Agatha All Along, Episode 4. This one is called, If I Can't Reach You, Let My Song Teach You. Last week, we had our first trial at the Beach House. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you look at it, Mrs. Hart died. I really did not care, to be honest. But going forward, if anyone else dies, it's really, really, really going to hurt. Before I get into this episode, if you want to see this full uncut reaction and all my uncut reactions, please check out my Patreon. There's something for everyone, and I have a free tier over there, so check it out. But here we go. I get the all along episode four, in three, two, one, go. And away we go. Whose trial will be this week? Damn, they didn't bury her yet. <laughs> she doesn't even care. Everybody's being really quiet. Be respectful. For At least she know, gets to rest with her husband. Oh. <sighs> All right, move along, move along. R.I.P. Mrs. Hart. <laughs> It must be kind of cool for a mortal to be buried on the road. Mrs. Hart was a bad draft pick. Okay. <laughs> of course the road killed her. More power for the rest of us. With Coven True glory. Shall we <laughs> they don't know the words. It? It's Coven Two. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How many witches <laughs> left the road with you last time? One? We were supposed to look out for each other, but we didn't. That was our fatal mistake. Was... They all really think she was a witch, right? I wish we could go home. Because there's no place like home. We can't go back. I mean, aren't we all covenless witches? And by extension, we're rule breakers? Right? Mm -hmm. Damn, she gets them to do whatever she wants. May she be smart and not annoying. <laughs> and also not super political. Good lord. May she be pleasant looking. Ooh. Very vain. True witchcraft takes time. The spell must marinate. Oh. Yep. Just about 20 seconds, and yep, we've seen this in the trailer. That is real. <sighs> Heard you guys were having a party. <laughs> How did you? I was in the neighborhood. <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> my lady. What's up? I'm Rio. What's Hello. up? Hey. Hey. So, less a green witch, hmm. more the green witch. Whoa. So, what do we think? Can we trust her? We know nothing about her. We have no choice. You know, Agatha hates her. I'd say that goes in the pro column. Do I hate her or do I want her phone number? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mm, they all like Rio. Trial number two. Okay. Whose is this? Pass. Mm. Oh, it's I'll hers. Already. <sighs> Alice. The road yeah. clearly does not. You got no choice. So then this is the music house, probably. Since her mom was a musician. I would never want to drown, but I would also never want to burn alive. Seriously, we're an album cover waiting to happen. The road changes for the coven. She looks like, um, oh my God. What happens next? Judy Garland's mom, I forgot her name. I mean, Judy Garland's daughter. 
Liza no Minnelli. cheating this time. No. Mm. Who says no to Rio Vidal? Yeah, those are some creepy ass masks. Oh, there's her mom. Who's gonna get this party started? Her fans were her coven. Hmm. Alice, don't. Don't what? Pardon? Oh, don't man. Don't what? What are her premonitions about? Must be scaring the hell out of all of them. I'm feeling like I want to cause some damage. Oh, shoot. Too early. It wasn't up to me. Hmm? Maybe the road is like Switzerland. What if we just call it truce? Hmm. Just. Till we get back? Just need these witches to get me to the end. Hmm. You tell me. What happens next? Mm. Oh no. I get the pleasure of watching you do what you do best. Did you? Kill all the witches around you. <laughs> one by one. Then what? I thought it was a clue! What made you think that? <laughs> <laughs> It definitely was a clue. Playing backwards. All right. What do they got to do this time? What the heck? I wonder why it's only happening to her. The only way to end a curse is to face it. Oh. Her shoulders. Oh, so it, this is going to be that fire demon from the trailer. Who's going to turn into it? Oh, she already has one. I convinced myself they were birthmarks. Oh, damn, teen. Poor little kid. We have to play Lorna's ballad. <laughs> I'm not playing that song. All signs point to a jam session. You have to. Somewhere, someone is playing that song that you hate so much. Interesting. It's a protection spell. It protected you. Aww. Well, what do you know? Zills. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, shit. Better start singing. This song is a bop. Stop phoning it in. Play like a witch. Rio knows what's going on. I have known the power. She's the only one not nervous. Now she's got maracas. How does she always have a different instrument? <laughs> Uh-oh. What the... F That's it? 
Oh, oh, it's the talons like it's on their shoulder. That was not what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a little more dramatic than that. Careful, Chadley. Rio could probably save him. What else can we do? What else can we do? Water and moonlight. Oh, okay. Hurry! Damn, Jen's got to do everything. Jen's got to save all their asses, it seems. Good job, Jen. We should move them somewhere more comfortable. Rio's thinking, who the hell is this kid? Part of me hoped that the road wasn't real so I could stay angry. It was all for you. Pretty much. We've all got an extra nipple. You guys don't have extra nipples? I'm covered in nipples. <laughs> you want to see? A sigil works on the witch who cast it as well. That's why uh, we don't use them as much. They're super irritating. You could imagine. But before you ask how, in that curious little voice of yours, <laughs> the answer is when they're no longer needed. Hmm. What really happened to your son? Ooh. Tough question. Heal fast. We're not staying here long. I've got a scar. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Hmm. A long time ago, I loved someone. Oh. And it hurt them. I think they all know who she's talking she's about. My scar. Ooh. Aww. Ah, <sighs> scorned lovers. I think we all knew pretty much. That boy isn't yours. What? So that just confirmed what we all knew. She thought it was her son. But does that mean? Damn, that's all it took to ruin the moment. All right, we're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere now. Cool, cool trial. I think we all figured who this was once we saw the music. The episode in a whole was great. I like this episode uh, more than the last one, even though we're kind of seeing a pattern where Jen is the witch who basically is holding this ragtag coven together because whenever someone gets hurt, she's the one who has to bring them back to life. So if somehow Jen dies, they're kind of screwed. As I was saying, this episode was really good. I really liked it. Even though that fire demon bat was very underwhelming, I thought like once they showed it in the trailer that it was going to like maybe attack them or they would have to fight it. I didn't realize it was going to be as simple as just playing her mom's song to the end. So like I said, kind of underwhelming, but it was neat. And I'm like overthinking, did they already know? I mean, I'm sure they already knew the, the lyrics of the song, but like, do they really know how to play the instruments or did they get magical abilities once they got in there or did it really not matter? I don't know. It's funny. Um, I wonder if there's, I mean, there's probably no significance about team flying through the glass and getting, you know, glass through his abdomen. It's basically just to show how much Agatha cares for him at that point. That was pretty much the only reason for that. I feel like we know he's not going to really die. And he'll be there till the end or until they reveal who he is. But I don't think it was any secret that all of us watching, even from the trailers and the teasers, 
that we figured he would be, I don't know, Wanda's kid, Wiccan, or uh, I forgot what his real name is. I'm having, I'm having a brain fart. But as we watch the show, we know that Agatha thinks it's her son. So it was kind of cool that like Rio knows a lot. She knows more than she's letting on, even though us, the viewer, can see that she's really not letting on. Because while they're in the trial and everyone is nervous, she was really cool. Like she was just sitting there, like not a care in the world. Like she knew what had to be done. And then for her to matter of factly say he's not yours, like she knows that that is not Agatha's son. Like she knows for sure. So now who could it be? The only other option is somehow Wanda's son. But I'm interested to see how they do this because Wanda from this universe did not have a son. She only had her kids that she conjured up in the hex and they weren't real and they disappeared. So it would be interesting to see how this boy, this teen, becomes Wanda's like real son if it is. I know in the comics there is something that has to do with Wanda and Mephisto, right? And they already mentioned Mephisto. So could it be like a non-birth son, like a soul son? I don't know much, but uh, if you want in the comments to talk a little bit more about the comics, the way he's kind of conceived, let me know. But when it comes to the show, I know the movies and the TV shows kind of do things a little bit different than the comic books. So I, I really don't know where they'd be going from there. But yeah, it's interesting. We finally got confirmation that that is not Agatha Sun, even though I think we all knew it probably wasn't. So I really enjoyed this episode. I can't wait till next week and next trial. So what did you all think of this episode of Agatha All Along? What do you think of my reaction and my thoughts? And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace, guys.